If you are a chosen one, this is a video you're going to want to tune into, to watch, to get some insight from. So, and, and, and even if you consider yourself to be one of the chosen ones, right? There's something... There's something that a lot of people know about you that you might not even know that they know about you. Is a thing. And what do we have a lot of in this world today? Demons. Negative spirits. Call them whatever you want. We all know what it is. We can all sense it. We can all see it. And a lot of people. It makes you look at them a little funny, doesn't it? Like, what's up with you, motherfucker? Type shit. So... <clears throat> if you were a chosen one, these demons know that. They can sense it. They can sense it in your spirit that things are just really well with you. And why are things really well with you? Because you probably stick to yourself, stick to your guns, stick with God, stick with things that you're supposed to be stuck with. Not other demons. That's where a lot of people are getting things wrong in this world. A lot of people are going really wrong in this world today. By their senseless, stupid actions. They get with some person that messes up their energy. I've been there. I've had people mess up my energy. It's not like I never knew. Or it's not like I, I knew that they were messed up. But you begin to realize what's going on. Especially when I was younger, I made hella mistakes with the demons. And that was their whole plan, was to get me, was to take me off my square. But as a chosen one, you're going to learn after a while. You're going to learn how things actually are, and you're going to start to do the right things for yourself. And that's the most important thing, is eliminating the demons. Eliminate these people at once. And these demons can sense that you're a chosen one. They can sense your positive spirit. They can sense what you're all about. And they hate it because they want to be it, but they they got their own negative demons and spirits within themselves. <clears throat> and that's how it is. Chosen ones can also sense demons. Demons can sense chosen ones. Both are not completely stupid people. Demons are not even stupid people. They're not. They know exactly what they're doing. And why they're doing it. And as a chosen one, you got to be able to recognize this and stay away from these demons. I do not like a lot of people, man. I just don't. Because a lot of people don't know how to act right. And I don't like that. I don't like immaturity type shit. I just like things to be professional. Even if I have a friendship, even if, you know, one of my close mates, I like it to be more professional. In a sense where we're chilling, we're doing something <clears throat> on the fly. And it's nothing but good vibes. We're not we're we're both in the moment, listening to some music, chilling, vibing, doing something fun. We're not thinking about nothing else besides in the moment doing something fun. <clears throat> but a lot of people don't have that in them. A lot of people's got these demons, man. You're going to realize that with some people you might hang with or try to hang with before. They might be stuck in their phone dealing with this person, with this person, with that person. They're texting a whole bunch of people. They're all riled up. Like their head is messed up because they're dealing with so many people and so many energies. So now their energy is going to be messed up within themselves. And the fact that you're with them, that's going to mess up your energy. That's going to make you feel uncomfortable. That's going to make you feel negative because they are negative because they're dealing with negative people. This is how things are spread. I like people who can be in the moment. You're not connected with a bunch of different negative, ne negative spirits. But in the world we're living in today, with all this social media bullshit, and especially the worst apps ever, one being Snapchat. <clears throat> we get access to so many different people. So if you're hanging with people that's constantly talking to others while you're with them. 
it's going to rub off on you. Who knows who these people are talking to? Who knows what type of negative spirits these people are taking on? It's going to rub off on you. Is what it's going to do. <clears throat> so you got to be careful who you're hanging around. And demons can sense it. When you get a positive spirit, they will even see it as weakness to a certain extent. They think you might not be as cool as they are. They think this, they think that. They think it's cool to be all up in that stupidity shit in the world. You're supposed to be talking to this person. You're supposed to be talking to that person. You're supposed to be involved in this. You're supposed to be involved in that. No. <laughs> You're supposed to be involved in your own stuff. Focus on yourself. That's what a lot of people today fail to do. They cannot focus on their damn self. In the run of a day, they can't be productive. They, they can't get shit done. They're so involved with talking to so many different mindless people. And their energy's all messed up. They got demons. That's how easy it is, man. That's how easy it is today to mess up. To mess your whole shit up. Life's going to pass you by. You're going to mess everything up. You're going to mess things up with good people that you could have had. And things are just going to go. That's why you can't deal with these people. <clears throat> and they can sense that your spirit is on point with who you actually are. They can sense you're more fulfilled on the inside. They can sense that you're happier on the inside than they are. They can sense it. They can sense you're more sure of yourself than they are. They need reassurance from all these other demons out there in the world. They need reassurance from this thought over there that, that they're talking to. Might be one of your friends that you would consider a friend. They might be talking to some thought. They need reassurance and validation from a thought. Like they, they're not thinking straight. That They don't understand the world. They got negative spirits. They got negative demons. You need to cut these people's asses off. Completely. <clears throat> you can try to teach these people. You can do what you want. And try to help them. I try to help some people. They're only going to listen as much as they want to listen. They're going to dig their own grave. They're going to make their own piss poor mistakes. And things are going to be how it's going to be for them. The blessed thing about yourself is that you made way better decisions. You were chosen. They are a demon. And even these demons can get themselves out of certain things if they want to. But it's like they're too caught up into that life. They're too caught up into that lifestyle. They don't want to be of God. They don't want to believe in God. They don't want to be anything about that. They'd rather live the cliche modern day society type of life and it's nothing but negativity these people today man they're getting tattooed everywhere there's even girls they're getting tattooed everywhere I'm not saying you're you're a horrible person or you're wrong for getting a tattoo but man you're tattooing your entire body black there's something not fucking right with your head I'm sorry to say, but there's something not right with your head. Would God approve of this? No, he would not. <clears throat> and if you're a chosen one, you're not going to get tattooed. You're not. Maybe something very small. Because there's worst and there's least worst, you know. I could handle maybe a tattoo on somebody if it wasn't too something too extra. But if it's something stupid, it's gonna hurt your chances. With me even taking you seriously as far as a relationship, a friendship, any ship, it's gonna take 
you know, a lot. <clears throat> stupid tattoos equals stupid decisions. Stupid decisions equals stupid tattoos. It means you're stupid. That means you're not all there up in the head. That means you probably got demons. As we know, a lot of people today get tattoos because they have demons. It's not rocket science. If I was to get a tattoo at all, which I really don't think is going to happen, I'm 98% sure, 99% sure, that I'm not going to get one single tattoo ever. Nothing. It would take something else for me to do that. It would be thought through. <clears throat> it wouldn't be a rush of the, of the emotion thing. I need a tattoo. I want a tattoo so bad. This, that, and that, and this. No, it's not going to be nothing like that. It's going to be thought out. It's going to be planned. And it's going to be something really sick that I would never regret getting. But a lot of people today, they're young and dumb, getting tatted everywhere. And let me tell you something. You want to you know about a red flag? If you see a female, God forbid, that has a snake tattoo that's black, run. If you see a chick and she's got a black tattoo of a snake on her, I want you to sprint so far in the other direction that you'll never be seen ever again from this person. Do not do that dumb shit. That's the most hideous thing you'll ever see in your life. And I've seen a few females with some black tattoos of a snake. Biggest red flag ever. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It just makes you want to take sandpaper to your skin and literally sand that motherfucker right off. It'll look better. Your flesh all in the pieces than that hideous black snake of a tattoo on your skin. Oh, man. Some people's decisions, bro. It makes you wonder what is wrong with that person. And unfortunately, I use tattoos as an example for piss poor decision making because a lot of people in today's oh society, so cool, you are so fucking cool, you stupid ass kids. <clears throat> and there's some there's a difference between getting a good tattoo that you'll never regret ever. It's well done, well thought, it has some meaning. There's a difference between that and just <clears throat> in the heat of the moment, you want a tattoo. You feel like getting tatted. You love how it feels, you sick fuck. <laughs> There's some sick people in this world, man. I like how it feels. Really? <laughs> really? You like how it feels on your skin? Man, there's some dark people in this world, bro. Like I said, piss poor decision making. They got demons. They want to get tatted. Oh, yeah. They want to get tatted everywhere. And they think it looks good. It's embarrassing. Your parents should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for you. There you go. <clears throat> the likes. You know, when you see people like that in public, bro, when you see people like that in real life, you can feel their negative spirits. Don't be surprised if you see someone And they're tattooed everywhere and they have negative spirits and they give you weird looks and, and all that type of stuff. Don't be surprised. Because like I said, a lot of people don't even get tattooed with meaning today. Maybe it is a meaning. Meaning of something demonic.
Tattoos to me are a red flag. For the most part. <laughs> it better be something real good. It better be. Because I'd rather no tattoos at all than any tattoo, to be completely honest. And that's just my opinion. I don't think it's a great idea. I think down the line, I think eventually you're going to regret it. That's why I don't have one, because I don't make stupid, repulsive decisions that I would be repulsed by eventually. Because, you know, people change. Things change. Our mindsets change. My mindset changes often. We grow. If I was a dummy, I would have had a tattoo in my teenage years, early 20s. Don't got one. Not planning on getting one. Because I'm not stupid. Because I got my head on straight. I can think clearly. Not all emotional and, oh, I need this tattoo. This person did this to me. I need a tattoo to, to remember this. That's just fuck, bro. People get tattoos for, you know, if it is, has any meaning, it's such a weird meaning. People get tattoos of dates when people died and everything else. I don't want that shit on my body, bro. That's negative to me. That's negative, bro. Get that negative energy out of me. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I seen something one time where I walked into someone's house and you guys might give me flack for this. You guys might disagree. Somebody might disagree. But there was pictures everywhere. And I mean everywhere, bro. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can say it. It's just messed up, man. I knew this guy. I walked into his house. He had a girlfriend. His girlfriend had pictures everywhere of her daughter that passed in a car accident. And it wasn't his kid, but he is now with this woman. And <clears throat> that's just... I could see you got a picture in your nightstand. I could see things like that, but man... We're talking crazy unicorn girl here, over here with her daughter, who, which it's a very sad tragedy that she died in an accident, very young, in her, in her teenage years. But to obsess over and to have pictures everywhere, I say crazy unicorn girl because, like, <clears throat> you guys know those people who obsess over, like, a unicorn. I'm just using that as an example. You might walk in somewhere and there's unicorn shit everywhere. That's what it was like with this. And it was just too much, bro. Like, you think of it, if you were in that position, I could never do that. Man, you walk into your house and you see things you might not necessarily want to see. Like, why would you want to think of that every single day of your life? It's like you can't move on from something tragic that happened. That's the way I see that. And some people's gonna think in, 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 a, in another way, it's a sign of respect, it's a sign of you really love that person, so on and so forth. And I get that perspective. But you have to understand my, my perspective too. Life is not meant to be forever. Of course you're gonna have some things around when you really like somebody or even if you had an animal that passed, you could have a picture of it, whatever. There's memories. But to have it planted everywhere to the point where you can't even look in any direction and you're going to see something. That's just a little too much, bro. That's some negative energy stuff right there, in my opinion. And I say that coming from the best place possible. It's just my honest opinion. Honest to God opinion on that. I could not do that. And it's not because I wouldn't care. It's because I do care. I can't see that shit every day. All the time. 
anywhere I look, you look on this wall, things are everywhere. You look over here, things are everywhere. It's like, man. And I've never seen this happen before ever with nobody. I've known people who had close relatives, close, you know, sons, daughters, close, like, even people I used to be friends with their own parents dying. And there's a picture of them somewhere. And that's very understandable. That's normal. But to, for things to be everywhere, bro, that's just that's just crazy. Like, it was crazy. I felt crazy being in the, in, in the damn house myself, seeing things everywhere. And this lady wasn't home at this time, but it was just me and this dude. And I asked him questions about it. And I, man, I even told him, I don't know how she does this. I mean, him had like a short conversation about it. And he, got, he was kind of like, kind of agreeing. You know what I mean? It was just nuts. But anyways, off of that situation, I just want to end the video by touching on something we basically started with. And that's for you to understand that, you know, if you're a chosen one, demons can sense it. They don't like it. They might even try to trick you. They might try to fool you to try to lower your spirits, you know? They low-key wish they could be as positive and as grateful as you are. And to just be in the headspace you're in and in the clear headspace that you're probably in. They really do wish that. And it's a... It's a weird thing. But it is the truth. And being a child is the one you just can't let anything like that get to you. You can't let the, the, the demons get to you. You can't let others and others' negative spirits anywhere close to you. When you recognize that you have to keep distance. As long as you keep distance, they can't get to you. They're not going to be able to. They might piss you off if you're around them. They might do this, they might do that, but they're not going to be able to get to you. As long as you stay clear of these individuals for the most part. There's always going to be people that's going to come around that's going to piss you off a little bit. That's just the world we live in. People's going to say something that you're not going to like for no reason. Because they know you're chosen. They know they're demonic. They know you're chosen. They want to say something to get under your skin. They think it's normal. They think those things are normal. That's how messed up they are. And they're piss poor decision makers too. That's what you're going to notice about people that aren't chosen. They're piss poor decision makers. That's the best way I can explain it. They're negative. They're negative people. They can't think straight. They got other bad people in their life. You got to get rid of all that shit, man. Like all of it and come to one with yourself and start to know the truth and start to live your truth the way you know it's supposed to be lived through God, not through the devil. And that's where these people are going wrong, terribly wrong. Piss poor decisions, for example, like we just talked about, the tattoos and all that stuff. It's just an example. Piss poor decision making. And I don't mean you can't eventually grow up from something you've regretted. You can. But back when you did that, you were that. There's certain things, you know, I'd get it, I'd get it removed. As painful as they say it is to get a tattoo removed, if I really did not like something that I did. I'd have it removed. I wouldn't be able to live with that thing on me. You know? I, I have an old friend that got a tattoo removed. He got it on his face. And he got that removed. He said it started to cause like anxiety to him. He started caring what everybody thought. He used to not really be like that, but he he was courageous, man. He went and got a tattoo on his face on his neck, things like that. And he got the one on his face removed because he, he it, it, it started to get to him. It was a bad decision. Not friends with the guy no more. Back when we were young, you know? So, it's just how it is, man. But anyways, enough with this video. I explained things to a T. I don't think I could have done a better job. If you need to watch the video a second time, go ahead. If you're new to this channel as well, I'm just going to let you know that you missed out on a lot of great content. So, 
he might want to go back and start binge watching some videos that I've made in the past. Anyone that's even new here remotely too, even within the last like half year till right now, there's so many videos that you guys have yet to see on my channel, especially from the very beginning stages of my channel. There's a lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff that I even kind of want to go back on and just kind of skip through, not watch the videos myself, but see the titles, skip down a little bit, see some things that maybe bring it back and to, to refresh, you know? But anyways, enough of this video. I'll be back tomorrow with some fresh ones. Until next time, peace out.